So today we're going to start to think about logarithms. Um, we'll start off by dealing with logarithms of base 10. Um, but firstly, what is a logarithm? So, let's consider an exponential function. So if we had, say, 32 to the power x um, equals 2, when we were doing those kind of things previously, we would have to um, work out how to, we, we would have to use um, our knowledge of um, maths and arithmetic to um, work out x, and we could um, Firstly, write 32 as a power of 2, and so on and so forth. Um, but that we can't always do that. So if we had a general exponential function a to the power x equals b, how do we solve it? Um, and the way we do it is through logarithms. So a logarithm... A logarithmic function is the inverse of an exponential function. So let's consider f of x equal 10 to the power x. Now, if we want to solve 10 to the x equals 6. So let's think about what, let's have a play with, with exponential functions um, with the base 10 and we'll um, see if we can get some understanding. So if we had 10 to the power 0, we know that's 1. If we have 10 to the power 1, we know that's 10. So this must lie somewhere between these two. So x must be between 0 and 1. If we were to draw a graph of... x to the power 10, 10 to the x, it goes something like this. And then if we find, if we had did this properly and we found 6, we could use a, a graphing method to find a value of x. And we would find out it came out round about 0 0.78. Um, so from the graph, when 10 to the x equals 6, x equals 0 0.78. But that's an approximation. Um, and it would be really good to be able to solve any value of x um, for different, um, for different um, solutions to this equation. Um, and we can do that using um, logarithms. So 10 to the power, I'll write it over here, 10 to the x equals 6. Then we have... The inverse of this is the logarithm x equals log 10 to the 6. So this is what we read this as log 6 to the base 10. So this is our base. And log is short for logarithm. Now, if you, we do these with our calculator, so if you get your calculator and you have a wee look at your calculator, you're going to be looking for um, a place that says log in it. Um, there'll also be one that says an LN, so you could find there'll be a, a button that says maybe log or sometimes says log of a 10 and later on we're going to find about something called natural logarithms 
which are L, N. So these are all log these buttons are all the buttons on your calculator that you need for solving logarithms. So have a wee look at your own calculator and identify where these are and um and how to um use them because each calculator is slightly different. So if we put this into our calculator, x comes out at 0 0.778 to three significant figures. So the rule for base 10 is if y equals 10 to the x, then x equals log 10 to the y. Log 10 to the y is the power is the power that 10 must be raised to to obtain y. For example, log 10 to the 100 equals 2 since 100 equals 10 to the 2 or 10 squared. y equals 10 to the power x and so if you have y equals, I'll leave it down here, y equals 10 to the x and y equals log 10 to the x. These are inverse functions. So we say y equals 10 to the x is equivalent to x equals log 10 to the y. Now if we were to draw them, so we've got y equals 10 to the x and now we're going to have let's go through one this is y equals log 10 to the x and it's mirrored in y equals x and it cuts here at 1 Now let's look at a few examples. So convert 10 to the x equals 58 to logarithmic form. And then solve 10 to the x equals 58. And we give the answer to three significant figures. So for the first one, step one, identify the base and index. So the base is 10. So the base here is this part. And the index is x. So we've got x equals log, and it's base 10, and what is it going to be here? So this is step 2. So then we're going to complete it. So the index is x, which is what we want to know, and it's going to be the log 10 of 58. And then the second part, to solve it, you would put that into your calculator and we'd get 1.76. So 
So convert log 10 to the x equals 3.5 to exponential form. And then solve. So step one again, we're going to identify the base. So it's base 10 and the index is 3.5. So the 10 is 10 and we raise it to the index of 3.5. And then if we do that, we get 3160. Um, now we're going to find the value of log 10 to 10,000. So if we do that, let's we put this into standard form. First, log 10 is 10 to the power 4, which is just 4. Log 10 to the 0 0.0001 is log 10 to the 10 minus 4. And if you put that in your calculator, you'll find it's minus 4. Then log 10 to the 1000 oops, root 10 is going to be log 10. And then if you put this in, play with this a bit, you'll get 10 to the 3.5, which is 3.5. Now let's see something interesting here. 4 and 4, minus 4, minus 4, 3.5, and 3.5. Um, which makes sense, because you're... 10 to the 4, and the inverse of that, you're just going to end up with this. Um, we'll be looking more at, at, at general rules for logarithms in a couple of lessons' time. But I hope that helps.